I was listening to a folk music at a time when I was, as a kid, searching through my family tree and nothing would make me feel more connected with, with that than listening to Shirley and Dolly Collins. <laughs> Quite silent, each mortal at rest. I was in a kind of very hectic place when I discovered um, Shirley's voice, really, and it did kick off for me a whole lot of renewed passion or interest or love of my own country's music. There's people from all different kinds of music that recognise the amazing purity of what she's done. So. Even though I am a folk fan, I like lots of different music, and Shirley's in the, the top ten of all artists for me, irrespective of uh, whatever they're supposed to be classified as. The trip that Shirley Collins made with Alan Lomax is a story that not many people know about. It's a pretty incredible story, and it resulted in some of the greatest field recordings ever uh, in the history of American music and the fact that she was there for that is fascinating to me and I think people should find out more about it. People need to know about Shirley Collins. You know, you hear this a lot, but she is the seminal figure. And, and Dolly too. Dolly was so amazing. So together they were, they were the best of them. Shirley's here, she's alive, she's now, she's as bright and vocal as ever, and I think this is really time the kind of world knew about her. If you care about music, if you care, not just folk music, because when all other forms of music have gone, folk music will still be there. These unique voices, unique songs that would not have survived if it were not for Shirley. She has kept that entire tradition alive. Cut, Shirley. Jesus. <laughs>